may be seated. E na mana, e na reo, e na iwi o na hoe wha, tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koto, nō no mai hare mai rā ki te whare kāwana, ki e oro tato katoa. Distinguished guests, as you may know, our Governor-General, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kerrill, is representing New Zealand at the State Funeral for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth in London. I am very proud to serve as Administrator of the Government in Dame Cindy, Cindy's absence. On behalf of the Governor-General, I warmly welcome you all to Government House for this very special investiture ceremony. I'd specifically like to acknowledge the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, Minister of the Crown, our Kamatua, Mr Joe Harawera, and our Kuia, Ms Pui Wahine Tibble. Today's recipients of Royal Honours are amongst the last to receive Her Majesty's approval, and it seems only fitting that you can be invested with your insignia this week. Investiture ceremonies celebrate and affirm qualities cherished in our community, qualities Queen Elizabeth herself embodied throughout her life. Selflessness, strength, and aroha. <clears throat> As we reflect on Queen Elizabeth's life of steadfast service, I invite you all to join with me in observing a moment's silence in honor of Her Majesty. Thank you. Ms. Catriona McLeod will now summon the recipients and read their citations. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you all to join with me in congratulating them in the normal manner. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the Queen's Service Order, Reverend John Hartley of Wellington, for services to governance and the community. Reverend John Hartley was chair of the Wellington City Mission Board, overseeing the appointment of the new city missioner and the strategic development of new services and extending board diversity and capabilities. He served as a World Vision New Zealand trustee. He held several governance roles with Vision Fund International, a leading global provider of microfinance and economic development services, predominantly to rural women and their families in impoverished communities overseas. He established Bankers with Vision in Singapore to facilitate volunteering and resourcing opportunities for those with banking and financial expertise into developing countries. He mentored Vision Fund directors and staff in several countries. He served on the Wellington Diocesan Board of Trustees and chaired the General Synod Review on Impact Investing. 
Reverend Hartley continues to informally support individuals nationally and overseas. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Professor Frank Frizzell of Christchurch, for services to health. Professor Frank Frizzell was the first professor of colorectal surgery in New Zealand. He started a service for advanced pelvic malignancy and has been recognised internationally for his groundbreaking work in the field of bowel cancer causation. He's a member of the International Surgical Group, the International Committee of Medical Editors Executive, and the World Association of Medical Editors. He's chair of the New Zealand National Prostate Cancer Register, patron of the Canterbury Ostomy Society, and med medical advisor to Bowel Cancer New Zealand. He was the head of academic at the University of Otago's Department of Surgery, and has chaired the Ministry of Health's Colorectal Standards Committee. Professor Frizzell is a trustee of the Christchurch Charity Hospital and a member of the Medical Assurance Society Board. Professor Frank Frizzell, please come forward. Dr. Oliver Sutherland of Nelson for services to the law and Maori and Pacific communities. Dr. Oliver Sutherland joined the Nelson Maori Committee and became aware of the differences in legal representation between Maori and Pacific defendants presenting in court and European defendants. He initiated an informal legal aid scheme for Maori and Pacific defendants in Nelson which saw an increase of Māori defendants with lawyers from 18% to 79%, and a reduction of imprisonments by a third. The Nelson Initiative led to the establishment of a national duty solicitor scheme. He helped establish the Auckland Committee on Racism and Discrimination. He researched and published Justice and Race, Campaigns Against Racism and Abuse in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and has presented this as evidence to the Royal Commission of Inquiry into Abuse in Care. Dr. Sutherland is a member of the Nazi Koata Komatua Council. Dr. Oliver Sutherland, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Reverend Louise Deans of Darfield, for services to the community and women. Reverend Louise Deans is an ordained Anglican priest. After she revealed her own sexual abuse by a high-ranking priest, the Anglican Church developed protocols for complaints of professional misconduct and initiated educational initiatives for the safety of the church attendees. She published a book about her experience that resulted in several other women coming forward, leading to a formal apology from the Anglican Church authorities and a resettlement agreement. She was a Selwyn District Councillor and a committee member of the Rural Women's Stepping Out program. Reverend Deans created the Homebush Stables Historical Society and has been an advocate for heritage buildings in Christchurch following the 2011 earthquakes. Reverend Louise Deans, please come forward. Mrs. Elizabeth Forgey of Okaiho for services to education. Elizabeth Forgey is principal of Kerry Kerry High School, where she has led a sustained school-wide educational reform and overseen more than a doubling of the role. She has built relationships with Nati Rehia and Ngapuhi, providing reciprocal support at community events. She's overseen multiple building projects to expand the school's facilities. She pioneered the Kerry Kerry High School Sailing Academy, resulting in national and international success in sailing, including several Olympic and America's Cup winning sailors. She established the Kerry Kerry High School International Department. She's on the executive of the Secondary Principals Association of New Zealand. Mrs. Forgey has been awarded the Wolf Fisher Fellowship on two occasions. Mrs. Elizabeth Forgey, please come forward. Ms. Jasmine McSweeney of Lower Hutt for services to the film industry. Jasmine McSweeney is head of marketing at the New Zealand Film Commission, NZFC. She's worked on the release and marketing of 15 of the top 20 New Zealand films released in theatres in New Zealand. She's advocated for Maori and Pacific filmmakers, women and other underrepresented groups. She has been responsible for NZFC's Te Ahi Ka program, which provides ongoing representation of New Zealand films after their premiere or initial release period. She introduced NZFC's digitization program and video on demand platform. She represents NZFC internationally and on the New Zealand Motion Picture Industry Council. Ms. McSweeney convenes New Zealand Selection Committee for the Academy's International Feature Film Award. 
Ms. Jasmine McSweeney, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs. Jenny Andrews of Blenheim, for services to seniors and local government. Jenny Andrews has been on the Marlborough District Council since 1988, with four terms as Deputy Mayor. She's been involved with committees such as the Older Persons Forum and chaired subcommittees for housing, accessibility and mobility for seniors. She has supported the annual Seniors Expo. She is a trustee of Marlborough Housing for the Elderly Trust and a member of Alzheimer's Marlborough. She is patron of Age Concern Marlborough and Senior Citizens Marlborough. Mrs. Andrews provided bereavement support with Geoffrey T. Salmon Funeral Directors, also setting up a parents group for those who have lost a child. Mrs. Jenny Andrews, please come forward. Mr. Harry Pawsey and Mrs. Virginia Pawsey of Harwarden for services to advocacy and conservation. Harry Pawsey and his wife Virginia are coordinators and advocates for the Cave Creek Families Group, keeping the families in touch and maintaining a relationship with the Department of Conservation following the 1995 platform collapse at Cave Creek. They sought a full review of docks, building and safety signage processes resulting in legislative changes and a significant overhaul of how dock structures are constructed and monitored. Mr. and Mrs. Pawsey initiated a flax wetland QE2 covenant on private rural land they previously owned, which is named Kit Pawsey Wetland after their son who lost his life at Cave Creek. Mr. Harry Pawsey and Mrs. Virginia Pawsey, please come forward.
Ms. Linda Wallace of Akaroa for services to heritage preservation and the community. Linda Wallace is director of Akaroa Museum, guiding it through repairs post Canterbury earthquakes and developing it into a nationally significant curated collection and a key educational resource. She's worked with Canterbury Museum and Heritage New Zealand as a regional advisor and now manages three historic buildings within the Akaroa Museum complex. She's a board member and former secretary of the Akaroa Civic Trust. She is a community member of the Akaroa Design Review Panel, member of the Garden of Tane Reserve Management Committee and trustee of the Gaiety Trust. Ms. Wallace co-designs and co-organizes the Lumiere event. Ms. Linda Wallace, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. My warm congratulations to all of the recipients. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, mana kitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of your fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the spirit of the Fokotoki manae whenua, oh, sorry, Manae ki whenua, manae ki tangata, haere whakamua. Care for the land, care for the people, and go forward. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the King of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and thank you once again for your service to our country. I'd also like to acknowledge the family and friends who are here today. This is your day as well. I know the recipients could not have achieved all that they have without your love and support. I and all of New Zealand thank you for that. Ki ora, hui hui tato katoa. You will see on the back of your program the words to the national anthem in Te Reo Māori and English. I now invite you to stand and join me in singing the anthem. 